Hi everyone, and welcome to the 8th episode of Sankril Airport. In this episode I will finally, after more than 3 years of work, finish this creation. As this episode will focus on the last area that is left to finish, which is the cargo area, I've also begun to make the last Sankril episode where I'll show you all of the airport in one massive cinematic tour. One year ago I thought, hey, there's only one area left to do, I will finish this cargo area in a couple of months. But it turned out to be a more complex project than anticipated, as with everything in this airport if I'm being honest. My first project in the air cargo area was to recreate this fuel tank storage from London Heathrow Airport. You have to find facilities like this in the outskirts of the airport, usually close to the air cargo area. My original plan was to make a hydrogen based facility. I find it very interesting to learn what a sustainable airport would look like and if there would be any major differences in design and layout. Unfortunately, I couldn't gather enough information of what uh, that would look like as no real airport hydrogen facility this size yet exists, at least to my knowledge. So these uh, traditional fuel tanks will have to do for now. Making the storage appear as functional felt important to make this area feel alive and interesting. So I used these functional security gates in combination with Vasimir's bus versions of airport service vehicles. So thanks to these assets, the fuel trucks drive to certain key points in the airport and come here, as it appears, to refuel. My next step was to create certain details to make it look like a place where the trucks can refill. I couldn't find anything that suited this purpose in the workshop, so I had to make my own version using this fuel truck. With the help of procedural objects mod, I was able to isolate the control panel from the truck and use it as a fuel station panel instead. I had to guess a bit when it came to building the pipe system, but I imagine the station is linked directly to the tanks somehow, so I made this network of pipes to visualize that. From what I could gather, there are today two main types of aviation fuel. The reciprocating engine fuel, also known as gasoline or air gas, and turbine engine fuel, also known as jet fuel or kerosene. Jet fuel is the most common today, with jet A or jet A1 being uh, the most common types. Uh, each aviation fuel has its own unique labeling system on pipes and other equipment in order to ensure the right fuel is being delivered to the aircraft. I mainly use Jet A in this build, which is labeled with black stripes on the pipes and with a black label on the control equipment. The single most important factor to make this airport realistic has been scale. If the buildings, runways, taxiways, roads and more aren't properly scaled, it doesn't matter how many details I throw down into my creations, it will still feel a bit unrealistic. On the other hand, if I check height, length, depth, area and so on in Google Earth and then use those dimensions in-game for the things I want to recreate, I will get a much more realistic result in the end, with less effort. I will show you a few examples of this. The first is the making of the air cargo aprons. The process of making these very detailed areas of concrete is exactly the same as when I made the passenger aprons back in episode 11. So step one, use the measuring tool in Google Earth to get measures and dimensions from real life cargo aprons. Step two, recreate this in game using a ruler prop basic procedural objects with custom textures, empty functional cargo plane stands and Basimir's extensive selections of different stop bars and lines and so on. Even if I take my inspiration from different airports in the world, I will still get sizes, layouts and details that make sense using this method. Another example is the creation of the air cargo warehouses. I had trouble finding a variety of warehouses in the workshop that had the right style and I found none with the right size. So I created new ones by combining uh, the few warehouses I had with the help of Move It and Procedural Objects mod. As always I scouted Google Earth first to have something to go on and was surprised yeah, by just how large these buildings actually are. 
Just like with the aprons, I used the dimensions from the real world in-game with the help of a ruler prop. The last example is the creation of the hangar areas. Having the correct size of hangars is important as you have to want a variety of airplane models to fit inside. The two hangar areas I made are actually almost exact replicas of two areas from Charles de Gaulle Airport. Procedural objects is of course an extra essential mod in these cases as it enables me to resize and reshape almost any building I want to, giving me much more options to create almost anything. So. I confess, there were times I almost didn't think I would complete this airport and be able to make this episode, but um, here we are, and what a journey it has been. A special thank you to all of you that has followed me and supported me during these years, and a special, special thank you to Captain James for helping me during all this time. Finally mate, finally. If you're new to this channel, I hope you feel very welcome and find both the old and new content interesting. With that said, I'm not done with Sargol though. I will continue the city itself as long as the save game and the computer let me. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon for notifications. The next episode will be around in just a few weeks and I promise you, you really don't want to miss that. Until then, stay safe, take care and bye bye.